I thought I was just going to see behind the scenes of a YouTuber and you turned me into one. Yeah. Subscribe, like, comment. All right. So, as of late, we have been traveling with people who are a bit older than us. We spent a little over a week with Julie's parents and went backpacking. And recently we've spent about two weeks with our friend Brian in Vancouver Island along with his friends who are also in their 50s and 60s. And after spending all this time with people about twice our age, we started to notice a few key differences between the way we travel. Lockheed's banker taking the lead, followed by Ron Gazinia. <laughs> Bend over, taking the caboose. <laughs> From the places we visit, to the activities we do, and I guess where we end up at the end of the day. So before we left Vancouver Island, we set Brian up with a GoPro and a few instructions. That's it. We are handing this off to him. Bad chin. Good chin. <laughs> yep. To document a full 12 hours. Us versus him. 30s versus 60s. Starting now. Good morning. <clears throat> it's about 6.15. It's time for the morning stuff. Brush my teeth, shave, supplements. I need to wash my face. Microwave, steamy water, and my washcloth. How good is that? Ugh, let's do coffee. Costco, cold brew. So the goal is uh, work my way up this morning. This is about 30 miles to Union Bay, looking at various places, figuring out where I want to be tonight or maybe tomorrow night, and also look for places to be on the beach and we'll prioritize those. This will be great recon for this time and when I return in the future as well. So while we were still fast asleep, Brian spent his morning scouring the east coast of Vancouver Island searching for a campsite, ideally on the beach and for free. So this is my uh, first recon, urban camping in Qualcomm Beach. I would never pick a neighborhood where it's only single family residences because everybody knows everybody's car. They'd kind of be alerted to it. High-end uh, apartment complexes, condos, light industrial, a mix is much better. He managed to check out five locations, rank each one based on the beach access, the price, and safety, all before we woke up at the butt crack of 8 a.m. It's too bright. <laughs> Look at that crazy hair. So it's about 8 a.m. This is how our mornings usually start, but today's gonna be a little different because uh, we stayed in a Costco parking lot. According to a few posts on iOverlander, it sounds like they like us to leave around nine. So we're gonna get up, maybe eat a quick breakfast here or somewhere else, and then go, go about our day. So the first thing we do in the morning is let them out. Something Brian doesn't have to deal with. And they yank my arms off. They average about three poops a day, so the goal is to knock one of them out in the morning. Frankie just disappeared into the bush. This is what our countertops look like in the morning. It's a lived in van, right? <laughs> Show this body bag. But that... we haven't done laundry in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. This is my editing pile. That is a stack of shoes with leashes. More shoes. More shoes. Spare popcorn? It's already 8.40. Time to go. Goodness. Before or, we get kicked out. The plan's to climb today. And we need to find a climbing map or guide, a guide book. book. She's pissed. She wants breakfast. I'm not pissed. We had a plan to get yes. up and go to a climbing gym to try and get a guidebook. Yes. And we were going to drive straight there, eat breakfast, wait for them to open. But we now, want it, what if they don't have it? Ben wants to start calling places. Just one. Calling places, looking for the crag If book you call and they say no, we, even leave, we will go straight to the climbing gym. And then we aren't going to eat breakfast for another hour. No. That would be my guess. Maybe I'm she's right. We'll find out. It is 9.02. And my whole day 
is going to be a bust. So while Julie and I bickered back and forth trying to find a climbing guide, Brian made his way to Union Bay, where he found a great camp spot. So it's Union Bay boat ramp. It looks nice. I like it because it's free. I'll donate some money in the box though. I could stay here all day and spend the night too. So it's like, woo! I like this, this is chill. So here's where we are from the beach. The van is all set up. I like it. We've got all day to hang out, no stress. It's an amazing beach for a shellfish. Here's oysters all over the place. But unfortunately, there's a toxic stuff in the shellfish, they say. So we will not be taking any shellfish off this beach. So it's good. I'm gonna walk out now to the water. If I don't sink in up to my knees. While Brian enjoyed the water, Julie and I made our way to the local climbing gym. But before they opened, we had breakfast. Hold on, hold on, wait. Okay, now it's time for our friend. All right, she was right. It was an, it hour. an hour. Yeah, just about. And now she's finally eating. Some nice little wraps, probably still too hot. We've got like five minutes before the climbing gym opens. And then we're gonna go in and hopefully figure out what we're doing today. Make a plan. Because we still don't know. <laughs> Shortly after finishing breakfast, we went into the climbing gym in search of a guidebook. Unfortunately, the book was sold out, but the owner let us take photos of his copy, so we were able to make a game plan for the day. Meanwhile, Brian was enjoying the morning sun and taking it easy. I just got done uh, doing some chores, cleaning the floor, straightening up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to have some more coffee and uh, do a little reading. After about 30 minutes of driving, Julie and I made our way to our climbing destination. Here we go. We made it. We made it, and that wasn't too bad. It's 11. 11 a.m. All right, not bad. There's kind of like a stench. Something, but it's... something real bad. Oh, my God. I hope it's not like that at Frag. Away we go. Still smells pretty bad. Ben's getting mad. This is what this looks like. When you show up to a place that you've never been and you don't like know the local area, you spend probably half the time trying to find it. We don't know where the climbing is. Trying to figure it out. I don't know where we are. I think we gotta go back. Super steep everywhere. This has not been easy to find. I think we found a wall. Now I was probably trying to figure out which one it is. So I don't know if any of you have ever seen like a climbing guide before or a local one, but sometimes there's like no photos, it's drawings. It's hard to identify what you're looking at, but I was looking for this 470 route right here. And so this crack here is our route. Julie's not too stoked because there's creatures in the wall. That is my worst nightmare. <laughs> really not into that. Well, I'll set the route and then you could just cruise it. So while I set our climbing route, making sure to clear any spiders lurking in the shadows, Brian was busy getting ready for his own midday adventure. And we're gonna get the bike out. Folding electric bike. So we're all set up. We'll go down the road and check things out. This is where the good old boys were having coffee this morning. Let's go inside. Julie's turn. How do you feel about this? I didn't clip my toenails and I'm afraid of spiders. Yeah, and there's a few, but... <laughs> Second angle. You got it, go ahead. So that was an awesome little store, had groceries, baked goods, all sorts of fun stuff. And I succumbed to temptation. Caramel Ben and Jerry's, tomato juice, maybe make a Caesar this evening. There we go. A donation for camping. We are grateful for their boat ramp. 
I'm going to continue to enjoy outside, book, beverage, lunch, and the tide is still coming in. As Brian enjoyed his lunch, Julie and I were in the process of cleaning up our route. Julie's up cleaning, so she is off belay right now. Chillaxing in the dirt. We've both done two routes so far. I was hoping to get in like four or five each, and then we'll break for lunch. It's almost two o'clock already, so we probably need to peel out of here around 3, 3.30 so that we can get back to the van and then head out to like a park or something because we've got some artwork, Patreon stuff to do. And then work, we have to edit and she's gotta do some work, so. And we gotta find a place to stay for the night. 30 minutes later. Julie went on a reconnaissance mission and uh, she's on her, oh, whew, that was a close one. She's on her way up. You know, it's really not funny to just constantly dog me for having fears. Mountain lions are real. So is that the fear right wolves here? Wolves are real. Mountain lions and wolves, or is it spiders? It's all three of them. Send me out on a suicide mission. It's not suicide, you went 20 feet down. This took a down. half hour. Well, you probably should have just done it yourself. If yeah, you I should have put my shoes on. We're gonna be so <laughs> sassy and make fun of me. While Julie and I struggled fighting off lions and wolves searching for our next routes, Brian busted out the arts and crafts. 230 crafts project going on here. Shells, shoelaces, a Ryobi. What do you think? We continue to struggle. I think we might have figured out what we are uh, doing wrong here. I think it's above us. This whole time we're thinking below. And uh, we've the, read the map wrong, so now we've wasted about an hour. So it's just after three o'clock. I am an accomplished artist. Jewelry, can you believe it? It's amazing what you can do with old shoelaces at Ryobi. Brian's jewelry making was a success, while our hunt for a new climbing route was not. And we wasted a lot of time. I'm starting to feel like we were bamboozled. Either the walls are overgrown with moss or we're in the wrong spot. That could be too. Maybe we didn't go far enough. Now we're like in a spot we think we are, but we're not. Yeah, so far we only found those yeah. those routes right where we were and we've only climbed two routes each yeah but we just pissed away An so much time more. so it's already three o'clock we want to eat <laughs> we did see there's massive salmon in here and so we thought we'd hang out and see if they'd rise oh oh did you get it yes they're different colors some of them are more like green gray yeah. and others are like deep red so this is kind of how it goes you know I guess we were kind of hoping we'd run into somebody out here mm -hmm. and then we could just say, hey. Can you point us in the right direction if we're looking for this wall? Yeah, but, but no one's here. It's a nice day, it's not too hot. No. Once we finished up our lunch on the water and started working our way back toward the van, Brian was out taking a dip in the water in front of his van. Wow, this is very moderate. Lukewarm, It'd be easy to jump in. It's starting to rain, and I think I'm going to put everything away and uh, move inside, listen to some music. The water was so warm. So I'm inside, hanging out up in the swivel seats, and my goal is finish this book. Let's get back to it. With Brian deep into his book, Julie and I made our way to a park to work on our own arts and crafts. You got a job to do, buddy. All right. So here's the thing, we got our new merch stickers, right? And we're really excited for them. And we are giving some of them away to our existing patrons and then any new patrons who join. And they look like this, ding. Along with that, we wanted to send like a little thank you card just to show Personalized. our Personalized. So this is what we did. We picked cardstock, that's our color. You cut those out with your fun little scissors. I cut them all by hand. Look, she has a blister. That's from my scissors. <laughs> And then we wrote a little thank you note that we did print out at like Staples or whatever. Right. But because it's printed out, that's why we want to put signatures on it. Each of us is going to hand sign every single one. Yep. Ben and I will go on the front and on the back, da -da -da -da, we'll go the doggy signatures. Yes. Which we're going to do now. Now, if you're new to the channel, you might not know that this isn't our first YouTube venture. 
We actually have another channel called Dog Cat Man Van, where we focus on van builds and van life. All right, there's one. But out there is a brand new endeavor, and it's kind of a yeah, risk. Yeah, that's a good one. Is it though? Yeah. A risk that wouldn't be possible without the help of our friends, family, and Patreon supporters. Does anyone want this masterpiece that we're going to create? Being a creator, or whatever you want to call it, comes with its costs and is rarely profitable. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. At least for us. So we really depend on and appreciate all of you who have joined our little team. And if you want to become part of the team, check out the link in our description. And if you decide to join, you'll be getting one of these little thank you notes along with a free sticker, plus all sorts of bonus content. Thanks, guys. You did it. You did it. My back hurts so bad. Look at I'm that. Just pick them up. Two paw prints. Should we, what, take them, see if they'll go in the water, and then sign them ourselves? Rinse them off. Yeah. yeah. So while the dogs enjoyed frolicking in the lake, Brian prepared himself a few afternoon snacks. Appetizer platter for happy hour. We've got cheddar, lettuce, tomatoes with balsamic glaze, and uh, hormone slash preservative free sausage. Is there such a thing as healthy sausage? Tomato juice instead of tomato juice makes a Caesar, not a Bloody Mary. Relaxing day, no stress. I got here early, enjoyed the day, got a lot of reading done, beach exploring, crafts projects, had conversations with friends via text and phone. So I feel good about it. Look at this, waterfront. What more can you want? With Brian enjoying his waterfront appetizers, Julie and I worked on finishing up our thank you cards. Jules. Ta-da. Look at this, hand signatures. Does it matter? No, we're normal people with normal dogs. <coughs> this may take Excuse forever. Me. You're getting a, a special signature, okay? That's my childhood nickname. I think I've mentioned it before. Yeah, I think you have. Who knew we would be taking full advantage of all that Vancouver Island has to offer? By doing our chores and errands. <laughs> Blue sticking. There cute, it is. Right? I hope you guys like it. We gotta get a move on because we got other stuff we need to do. Yeah. And we have to find a place to stay for the night. Yeah, I guess that's true. While Julie and I frantically looked for a place to park, Brian began winding down for the day. I feel great about the day. I traveled less than three hours. That's good. Travel half as far take twice as long i gotta get inside now i made dinner poke i always keep some frozen ahi in the freezer soy sauce sesame seeds sesame oil ginger paste wasabi toss it in there stir it around my van cooking uh rarely involves heating it's been a great day very relaxing and i'll sleep in tomorrow because i can be here as long as i want on the road I wonder if Brian's still awake. Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> for another hour. He's probably had his dinner though. Yeah, he's definitely had his dinner. We're right still now. well away from that. We're driving. I am weak. I am so weak. All right, we made it to where we're parking for the night. So we're gonna move some stuff and then we're gonna feed them and we're gonna work a little. This is what it looks like to, to hang out with us. To be failing YouTube people. I mean, what more could you ask for? So I'm in bed. This is my big screen, my iPad, and it's starting to rain. I like it. All right, we'll see you in the morning. All right, so it is 9.50. We still need to shower and eat. We're probably gonna have to stop here at about 10 o'clock. Julie is done with her shower within like three minutes. Now it is my turn, but I'm gonna try to shave really fast. All right, so we kind of have a weird combo. Some faux like taco meat on a salad. So we're eating dinner at the butt crack of 10.40. And then Julie's gotta be up what, six? Yeah, 5.45. 5.45? That's the way it goes, you know? <laughs> It's the way it goes. All right, Rails is already ready for bed. Big boy. 
Okay, guys. It is about 11, 21. We're gonna watch a little bit of our show and then probably kill it before midnight and try to get to bed since we have to get up early. But that's a day. That's one of our days. And they always tend to end like this, tired, exhausted, defeated. We did it. We did it. I don't know what it was, but we did it. <laughs> there is a quote from a famous dead guy that I've had stuck in my head ever since we started this video. Youth is wasted on the young. Wisdom is wasted on the old. We're getting a camera back. I think that's true because when you're retired and have a healthy savings account like Brian, you have more time to slow down and reflect on your decisions and what's most important to you. You become tailwag's dog with your possessions and your stuff. I wish that I would have become a minimalist early on in my life. And this challenge of looking at how Brian spends just 12 hours of his time versus how we spend ours. No! Ruin. This is why we don't film our lives. Has really forced us to reevaluate how we go about our days. For instance, we do want to continue prioritizing physical and outdoor activities because it's kind of our thing. Did it. <laughs> But we also need to make more time for relaxation, to find a better balance between our trying to survive work ethic and it's about the journey, not the destination mentality. And now we just read. Although we want to make the most of our time, we don't want to rush through it all. Look at that. It's one size fits the most. <laughs> we want to absorb everything we can now so we can really live a more fulfilled life. Less is more. Life is very, very simple. Play. Yeah. Adventure. I guess it's like what Ferris Bueller said. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Do I need to drain my checking account? Oh, yeah, to get the real feeling <laughs> To get the of real, it? yeah. yeah. Surrender my and wallet, my I'll credit cards. I'll give you cards. all the footage and you'll have to sit with it. <laughs> With scissors yeah. and scotch tape, yeah. cut and paste. All right, guys. All, All right. right. Challenge accepted. Okay. See you in a couple days. Yeah, good See luck. Ya.